Hello, good evening, and welcome to Wapakoneta High School, where tonight on WOSN will bring you a fantastic Western Buckeye League matchup between the visiting Salina Bulldogs and the homestanding Wapak Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Schott, and we'll bring you all the action tonight. Mark, pair of WBL squads with identical 16-4 and four records, undefeated in the Western Buckeye League. A big one tonight to decide who's going to take home the WBL title. Well, it really is. Each have one more match next week. Uh, you know, Wapak goes to Defiance, and St. Mary's will come to Salina, but this is the match. They are both 7-0 in conference play. Of course, Salina is the reigning champion in the Western Buckeye League. They were 9-0 a year ago. They've got eight seniors. They have won 27 uh, Western Buckeye League championships in their school history, and, and they are out Obviously looking to salt another one away this evening. Well, Pocatino Redskins, well, they have won just one league championship in volleyball. That was back in 1997. They shared it that year with Salina and St. Mary's. They were all three of those schools were eight and one, and they would love to get their own personal uh, all by yourself WBA champ, WL championship, and obviously have a huge uh, step to do that this evening. And when you take a look at the Wampak Redskins, uh, things kind of start with Kylie Palmer, averages six and a half kills per set. We're going to call her name a lot tonight. Well, that's right. She, got, she averages 19 sets per, or 19 kills per match. And when you think that some of their matches are just two setters because, uh, you know, they, they play a Saturday tri-match or something like that, or, uh, you know, they're, they're winning so many matches in three sets that uh, for her to have 19 kills uh, per, set, per match, that, that's really an outstanding number. Going to the University of Alabama to continue her volleyball career, and at 6'2", she is a force in the middle, and obviously her team will need to pass the ball Get this, the ball into the center, Rihanna Wolf, uh, Woodruff's hands, and then let her set Palmer and see what she can do this evening. And when you take a look at the sectional tournament draw that's going to take place on Sunday, this is a big a big match for that as well. It is. Wapakoneta is in the D1 district, and, and it's just a huge district. There are like 22 teams, and they, they split the sectionals up, and they play the 17th and the 19th, and then they, they come together either at Lake High School or Hopewell out. It's really it's a very confusing type of tournament mm -hmm. to, to kind of preview, but it, the draw is on Sunday, and Certainly, they want to play well in that uh, tonight to set up what goes with that. So we've got two fantastic Western Buckeye League teams ready to tango here tonight at Wapak, both undefeated in the Western Buckeye League. And as Mark said, Wapak won WBL title in their history. Salina, the reigning Western Buckeye League champions. Brooklyn Bourne and Peyton Berkey for Salina were first team all Western Buckeye League performers a year ago and Kylie Palmer was the Western Buckeye League player of the year. So not only do we have two great teams, we've got some great volleyball individual players here tonight as well. Uh, we do. They both also have excellent liberos. Uh uh, Carly Schrader is the libero for Wapak. She's a 5'5 senior. And Allison Schwederman is the libero for Salina. And I'm a fan of big libero play. And they're both very, very talented. Uh, obviously, they're both very good setters on each team. We talked about Peyton Berkey. We talked about Rena Woodruff. Uh, they are talented players. You mentioned that Berkey and Bourne were both all-conference players a year ago first team. And, and they lead this team for Coach Phil Bangy. And when you look at those setters, uh, both are going to play with one setter on the floor they do. at both times with Rena Woodruff and Peyton Berkey. And, and both are probably all WBL type performers. Well, they do. They both average just a tick under 10 assists, uh, you know, per match, uh, the, the per set, I should say. Uh, 62 sets this year for Salina, 612 assists for Peyton Berkey, 59 sets this year, 567 sets uh, for Rena Wood Woodruff or assists maybe. And so they're both very talented. The key is serve receiving, getting the ball to those two so they can set up the, the hitters. Emily Van Horn will serve for Wapak to get us under way here in set number one set from Berkey swung on by Brooklyn Bourne sent right back to her a swing from Evie Holstad of Salina gives them the one nothing advantage she just hit the ball through the blocker Palmer went up to block it at 6-2 and she just hit it through her fell on the side of the Redskins so Sarah Gieske will serve for Salina to get them started He's third on the squad in aces. Here's Stephen Palmer. Woodruff. Palmer big swinging down. And Mark with the fantastic volleyball teams. We've got a fantastic atmosphere as well. Yeah, we do. Western Buckeye League Volleyball on a Thursday evening. We're late in the season. Huge match, and we do have a good crowd here this evening. Carly Schrader, the serve for Wampak. Born, or excuse me, born the swing. Rejected and out of play. Brooklyn Born the kill to give Salina the 2-1 advantage. Ball was blocked out of bounds off of Brooklyn Bourne. 
Ball got up into the tape, but one of the Redskins hit it. No lock, knocked it out of bounds. So Bourne now serving the 5'8 senior. Sends it to the back row. Palmer, the swing. Big kill there for Kylie Palmer as it, as it goes out of play off of Allison Schwederman, but she got a lot of that ball. Well, you know, when you look at a 6'2 young lady, oftentimes you think that they're, you know, they're, they're tall and willowy, but she's got some real strength behind her as well. Here's a good server, server as well, Follenkamp. Courtney Follenkamp to serve. Berkey, the set. Ava Kanapke gets it over for Salina. Palmer, another swing and down. Well, you're set three times, you got three kills. It's a good start for Kylie Palmer and the Wampak Redskins. It's their student section gets into the volleyball game. Still here early in set number one as Fullenkamp sends it over. Berkey, the set, swing from Amelia Lutz. Saved by the Redskins. Palmer from behind a 10-foot line and down. Yeah, four that, points for the Redskins and four kills for Kylie Palmer. Yeah, that wasn't even a, a great set. It was a little deep, as you said, behind the 10-foot line, and she still was able to put enough power on it to get a point. So Fullenkamp, the 5'9 sophomore, sends another one away. Berkey goes back, gets it. Lutz, the tip, saved by Wampak. Fullenkamp rejected by Salina and down. A big swing by Ava Kanapke. She's got the Bulldogs fired up. That time they were able to get two blockers to the net. They sent it back, and on the return, they were able to just put it away with Ava Kanapke. Samantha Jenkins going to sub in for Kanapke. Jenkins. One of the leading servers for Salina, just six errors on the season. As the Bulldogs trail by one here in the early stages of set number one, a knuckleball dug out and returned by Wapak. Bertke, the set, swing by Miley Sapp, saved by the Redskins, and Carly Schrader will send it over. Bertke, the set. Lutz. Tried to tip it up and over, couldn't, misjudged it just a hair, and it's a 5-3 advantage for Wapak. Yeah, that was not the best of sets, and she had to backpedal a little bit to, to get it. Feet were out from underneath her and wasn't able to score. Here's Palmer to the back row now. Let's see how she plays back there. The standing serve. Berkey, Sap down. Miley Sap averages two kills per set, has two here in this first early stages of set number one. Peyton Berkey back to serve. The setter for Salina. First team All-Western Buckeye League performer a year ago. Palmer in the back row. Woodruff over. Oh, Saved by the Bulldogs. Allison Schwederman rolls it over. Woodruff the set. Palmer from the back row. Blocked by Miley Sapp. Excellent timing by Miley to get the block on the shot that came from Palmer from behind the 10-foot line. And we're tied at five after that big block. She got all of that volleyball. The swing from Berkey in the middle of the floor. Woodruff. Van Horn cuts it down the line, but it's a little wide. And Salina has the lead. It's a good look. She went cross court that time and she just missed the sideline. So Berkey serving once again for the Bulldogs. Dug out. Woodruff. The set. Palmer. Big swing. And the Bulldogs can't handle it. Kylie Palmer, another kill here in set number one. I didn't bring enough space on my stat sheet <laughs> to keep track of her kills this evening. <laughs> she had five already. We're tied at six in set number one. Serve from Amber Schnippel. Returned by the Bulldogs. Woodruff. Van Horn tries to drop it in. Berkey, the bump. Schwederman. Over to Evie Holstad. Redskins will return. Off of Schwederman and down. And Wapak has the advantage by one point once again. Emily Van Horn got that kill, the first one by a player not named Palmer. So a 7 6 advantage. And now Addie Fisher comes on to serve. She's got 36 aces, does the 5 10 sophomore. She'll send it to the back row. Tough one to handle. Bulldogs just tip it over, nearly down in the middle of the floor as Van Horn strikes. Schwederm in the dig. Berkey over to Lutz. Lutz rejected and back down to her. Reagan quarter the block. Her 35th of the year makes it 8-6 Wapak. 
Excellent timing on that. Keeping your hands towards the center of the court so it doesn't go out of bounds. And we're going to get our first ace. Fisher with the ace for Wampach. Gives them a three-point advantage, 9-6. to six. So a little rally here for the Wampach Redskins. As Addy Fisher has put a couple on the board. She'll send it away. A little long on the service error, and Salina gets back on the scoreboard. Amelia Lutz now serving for Salina, the 5'9 senior. Eight seniors on Coach Phil Bangy's team, and they're a veteran crew. They've been through this before. Into the back row. Woodruff sets up Van Horn, tips, sent back to her by Miley Sapp, hits the antenna, and it's out. So Salina's got the lead back down to one. A little bit of ping pong at the net that time. It just went into the antenna. Lutz will send it away once again. Into the middle of the floor. Palmer just sends it over. Schwederman. Berkey tipped down. Oh, saved by the Redskins. They'll try to get it down the line on the far side. Schwederman saves it. Big swing by Brooklyn Bourne. Rejected right back to her. As Reagan Quarter got another block for the Redskins. And Salina will sub in Lily Sunderhouse into the back row. Defensive specialist. As Rena Woodruff will serve. What a great set. Kill there by Brooklyn Bourne after the set from Berkey. From all the way across the floor. Put that right where Bourne could use it. It's a couple of players who played together for many years. Allison Schwederman serving now for Salina. Into the middle of the back row. Woodruff, the set. Swing by Van Horn, projected by Brooklyn Bourne. And we're tied at 10. One more rotation until Palmer gets back to the front row. And that's going to put her there. Allison Schwederman leaves it just a hair too long. I nearly tucked it on the back end of that line. And it's an 11-10 advantage. And now, as Mark said, Kylie Palmer back in the front row. As Emily Van Horn will serve. They actually held themselves pretty well through the time period when she was not in the front row. Good contribution for some other girls. Burt King, born, blocked, got over, and a tipping down by... Reagan Quarter of Wapak gives them the one-point lead once again. Reagan's a 5 two point lead senior, has, a, has had a good set here. Van Horn serves once again. Wapak in white, Salina in the green. Berkey, big swing yeah. there by Salina's Ava Kanapke for the kill. That's where you draw it up, a little bump set kill. Got a good pass to the setter. Sarah Gieske comes back in to serve for the Bulldogs. Trailing 12-11. Gieske into the back row. Woodruff goes to set up Palmer. She left it wide. A little help from the Salina boys football team over there, making sure that the official knew that they that was to, not appropriate. Yeah. yeah, make sure that they got the call right. Gieske. Redskin football team is here too. They had a little team dinner, and that rolled into the net and tape. Hit the antenna. That Wapak Redskins boys football team, they were having a team dinner when we got here this evening, so they just hung around. And there's a lot of them. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> They're having a, a good season. In fact, both these teams are having a good football season. That they are. 13-12, Salina the advantage. Palmer, the swing, got the kill. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it, and we're tied at 13. Somebody averaging close to seven kills per set, and she's got six already here in the opening set. Carly Schrader. Berkey. There you go. Found the Redskins yep. napping just for a second. Got it off one of them and down, and Salinas got the point. 
Peyton Burke, even though she's a setter, she has 78 kills on the season. And when she's in the front row, she's very adept at picking her times to hit that left-handed shot over and kind of catch everybody by surprise and doing so with some force. And that gave the Bulldogs a 14-13 advantage. Now as Brooklyn Bourne serves. Woodruff tries to save it. Palmer able to just send it back over. Berkey over to Lutz. Big swing. They'll say it's out. Uh. Well, you go with your line judge when you're the uh, R1 on the stand today. That would be Scott Call. You have to be dead solid sure to override him. So we're tied at 14. Woodruff to Palmer. Big swing. Returned by the Bulldogs. Tipped down off of a Bulldog. And Redskins have the 15-14 advantage. Well, Palmer showed you she can play with power, but she can also find a spot on the floor. Just kind of dumped it into a player on the floor that time, laying down, unable to return it. Courtney Fullenkamp to serve for the Redskins. Lots the swing. Blocked. Schwederman. Bertke. Big swing there by Ava Kanapke. Ties it at 15. Her third kill. That's a big swing by Ava Kanapke, a 5'11 junior. She'll sub out as Samantha Jenkins comes back in to serve. As we're tied at 15 here in the opening set. Jenkins. Good serve. Palmer. Oh, How about oh my that? Goodness. Swapak able to return that. Never as Lutz give up on it. Off the top of the net. Woodruff over to Palmer. Salina able to get it back over. Well, Puck wanted prolonged contact, didn't get the call. Palmer the swing off a Bulldog and down. How about that? Coach Phil Bangy giving some instructions to Peyton Berkey, and they're going to discuss something. This is the proper way to do it, Garrett. The coaches doesn't yell across the floor at the official. He asks his captain to go over and, and make say. a comment. That, that's the way it's supposed to be done. That's good, good sportsmanship by coach and, and player. So Palmer, the serve with a one-point advantage. Miley sat back in the middle. Her swat rejected. Sent right back to her by Addie Fisher. And Wapak now a two-point advantage. Palmer goes to serve once again. Knuckleball. Schwederman. Sent back over by Bourne. Woodruff to Van Horn. She'll tip. Saved by Jenkins. Tip back over by the Bulldogs. Woodruff. Van Horn. Saved by Bourne. Berkey. Lutz. Dug out by Palmer. Woodruff over to Van Horn. She tries to cut it down the line. Just left it on this side of the net. And nearly rolled it just yeah. over and down. She knew where she wanted to put the ball, just, just an inches short of getting it where she wanted it. Good effort. So now Peyton Berkey serving for Salina. Trailing by one. Woodruff to set. Palmer from behind the 10-foot line. Left it long. Not Didn't leave it long by much. Yep. Good call. But we're tied once again at 17. Without a timeout, we played 34 points. It's been that close here in the opening set. Berkey, the ace to give the Bulldogs a one-point advantage. Her first ace today. What a back-and-forth set we've got here in this opener, Mark. Absolutely. We're going to be here a while. That's a good thing on Thursday night. Berkey, that one, a little too much mustard on it. And we're tied at 18. So Addie Fisher, 5'10 sophomore, serving for the Redskins. To Allison Schwederman in the back row. Bertke left it a little long, getting the whole stab. And now we get to the closing stages of set number one. The Redskins in 19-18 advantage. Fisher serving once again into the back row. Bertke. The back set over to Lutz, off a red skin and down. Really good time to go back set. They've, they've gone to the left side every single time so far, or middle, and that time they went to the back set, got a point out of it. Tied at 19. As Holster, excuse me, Amelia Lutz serving for Salina. 
Brings it just down the line. As Van Horn tips, dug out by Salina, and they'll watch it hit the floor. It's one of those indecision things. The ball's going to get into the net. How do we play it? Yeah. It didn't hit the net strong enough to come back so you can play it. And what we're getting is uh, one of those substitutions on the fly. And our R2, Paul Offenbacher, says we're going to do it right. He's got two subs on each side, or one on each side, and he's going to make sure we do it correctly. And it's a veteran official. So Lily Sunderhouse comes in for Amelia Lutz. And now Rena Woodruff will serve for the Redskins, ace. and they get an ace. A little miscommunication there between the Bulldogs. And a timeout called by Salina will step aside as well. Redskins lead 21-19 here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard made possible by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics as the Wapak Redskins lead the Salina Bulldogs 21-19 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Wapak trying to close out set number one here with a two-point advantage over the Bulldogs. There's Rena Woodruff serving. Berkey goes and gets it. Tipped by Brooklyn Bourne. Woodruff the serve. Van Horn the swing. Saved by Allison Schwederman. Brooklyn Bourne another swing. Dug out by Berkey. And she'll send it over. Just a hair too long. Well, Salina made a good play to save it early in that particular point, but couldn't come up with the final play to make it happen. Woodruff serving once again. 5'7", senior setter into the back right corner. Over, big down by Reagan Quarter. Got over the net, put it straight to the wood, and it's a four-point lead for Salina. Bulldogs head coach Phil Bangy wants another timeout. We'll keep it here, 23-19. Biggest lead of the first set for the Redskins. Well, on that previous play, as long as the ball gets into the plane of the net, it's okay to go up and play it. It's one of those very critical timing things. You get a little bit too early and you're over the net, but she timed it just exactly right, and as you said, she found Wood. So a force point advantage here for the Redskins. Got to finish off two more to take set number one, but uh, what, such a back and forth set, and I, I got to see Salina last week against Coldwater where they wanted a five set thriller, never gave up. They were down a couple of times, you know, four or five points, and would claw back in. Salina is certainly not going to give up here in this first set. Yeah, you know, they're, they're a veteran crew. They've got a veteran coach, as we said multiple times. Now they have eight seniors. So that you're not going to just get them to crack. You're going to have to find a way to beat them, and in this opening set, Wapak has done that to this point. So Raina Woodruff will serve once again for the Redskins. 23-19 the score on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Bertke, the back set, swung on by Salina, dung out by Wampach. Quarter, the swing, Bertke, Brooklyn Bourne finds the floor. You know, coming out of the timeout, coach went back set again, figuring everybody would go to Bourne. That didn't get them the point, but when they really needed it, they came back to Brooklyn Bourne, she put it away. Allison Schwederman serves for the Bulldogs. Trying to close that gap into the middle of the floor. Woodruff, Van Horn, down. Found a big spot in the floor. And that'll give him set point at 24-20. Emily Van Horn's second kill, the opening set. Against one of those situations, you got Kylie Palmer on the other side. She's going to get doubled and just found the ball on this side of the court, put it away. Van Horn serving for the Redskins. Dug out, Berkey, Kanapke, pancaked by Woodruff, and the Redskins get it over. Berkey cuts it down the line as Evie Holstad, and a point goes to the Bulldogs. So they'll keep the set alive, 24-21. Sarah Gieseke in to serve, keep it going. Gieseke. Looks to bang it on where to send it. And a swing and a miss by the Redskins. Gieske gets the ace to cut that gap to two at 24-22. Sarah's 42nd ace of the season. Sometimes .25 is the hardest one to get. She'll send it away again. Woodruff, Palmer. Over the line, yep. 
and another point. Rena Woodruff, when she came to set the ball, she stepped all the way across the center line. That was the violation. The pass was a little bit close to the net. She did the best she could to tightrope it, but she had her entire foot across the line. So 24-23, and Mark, you mentioned sometimes 25 is the toughest oh, one to get. It really is. I, I'm not, it's kind of odd why. I guess the other team just fights and fights and fights. And, you know, they, they don't want that set to come to an end, but for whatever reason, point 25 oftentimes is a hard one, especially when you have two quality programs here. So set point, been set point for a hot minute here as the Redskins led 24-20, and now Salina has dug back in as Sarah Gieske will send once again for the Bulldogs. Walpock wants a pot pass set and, put, and a kill. Schrader. There it is. Woodruff. Palmer. But she missed. Got it in. The line judge here says it's in. Right. The official on the stand. Exactly. Says you can it's see out. he pointed to himself. I made the call. And from our angle, it looked like the correct call. So we are tied at 24, going to extras in set number one. Gieske serving once again. Left it long. Good. So After serving well in this point, actually served that one long, and now we've got the libero Schrader to serve. Set point once again for the Redskins. Schrader into the back row. Berkey has to go and chase it. Brooklyn Bourne nearly had it rejected. Bulldogs keep it alive. Ava Kanapke tips it over. Woodruff over to Palmer. Swing. Dug out by Schwederman. Berkey. Bourne. And that's four hits. Yes, it is. And we're tied at 25. Good play by Schwederman. That big, big hit from Palmer came to her and she played it appropriately. Now Bourne rotates to the back row to serve. That's one of your best hitters is now in the back row. So Brooklyn Bourne. First team on WBL performer a year ago, serving for the Bulldogs. Palmer in the middle, out into the stands. She tallies another kill to make it set point once again. Uh, oddly, Garrett, I thought she mistimed that a bit, but she still had so much power yeah. on the ball. So now Rena Wood, or excuse me, Courtney Fullenkamp serving for the Redskins on set point. Berkey, the set, Amelia Lutz. Dug out by the Redskins, but sent right back to it after Peyton Burke got her hands on it. Well, there she is in the front row again as a setter. She's able to do that when she's a front row player, and she tied it at 26. Samantha Jenkins back on to serve for the Bulldogs. Tied at 26 in this opening set between a pair of undefeated Western Buckeye League foes. Woodruff. Goes to set up Palmer. Big swing by Kylie Palmer. Well, Garrett, 10 kills for her in the wow. opening set, but she will now rotate back. Now, she has 34 aces on the season. That's a second on the club. That also means she has to hit from behind the 10-foot line if they choose to set her. Set point again for the Redskins at 27-26. Bourne. Sap the kill. Miley Sapp found the floor, and we are tied at 27. What a fantastic opening set between Salina and Wapak. Berkey serves for the Bulldogs. Schrader the dig. Here's that behind a 10-foot line. Palmer gives it a go. Schwederman. Lutz gets just enough on it. Woodruff goes to set up Van Horn, and it's down. But Schwederman tried to play that, but it was just so much force on the ball. She couldn't get her feet underneath her to set proper, to pass properly. Set point again for the Redskins at 28-27. Left it a little long, and we're tied at 28. Second missed serve in this set for Fisher. Nobody wants to go quietly in huh. set number one. That is 100% accurate. Amelia Lutz serving for the Bulldogs. Schrader, Woodruff, Palmer from the back row. Berkey to set. Sapp rejected, but saved by the Bulldogs. 
Bertke again, Bourne down the line and on the floor, and Salina's got the set point. Final timeout, Wapak. We'll step aside as well. 29-28, the conclusion of set number one when we return on WOSN. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight between Salina and Wabach in this opening set between a pair of unbeaten Western Buckeye League rivals. As Amelia Lutz awaits to serve for the Bulldogs with set point after trailing a couple of different times in the 20s and being faced with set point a couple of different times. Woodruff over to Van Horn. Dug out by the Bulldogs. Bertke, Bourne, got the net and we're tied at 29. The ball was a little bit outside and a little bit off the net from where she would have preferred it to be. And we're tied at 29. This could go. <laughs> Glad I had supper. I didn't. <laughs> I made the decision I'll eat when I get home. See, I'm not known for my great decision. You, you like those market. midnight snacks, yeah. huh? Now we're checking to see if we've got people properly aligned or not. That's what this is all about. So is that an appeal from the coach? Well, if, if he has asked for his own team, he's just making sure his own team is set, okay. which is, is where we're at. So Rena Woodruff going to serve for Wampak. Uh, my guess is that was a little bit of gamesmanship. Let's just take a minute to break. By a, just a hair of a timeout. Bertke, born, blocked at the net, dug out by the Bulldogs, rolls down the net, and out of play, and the point Ooh. goes to Salina. Brooklyn Bourne, what a play. Looks like a couple of different times yeah. that was coming down. And instead it rolls right at the net. Set point once again for the Bulldogs. Schwederman into the back row. Woodruff has to go chase it. Yeah, not a great pass. Here comes Salina. Berkey, Ava Kanapke yep. down, and they win set number one in a thriller, 31-29. We'll step aside, come back with second set action after Solana wins a thriller in set number one here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard made possible by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics as Salina has a 1-0 set advantage over the Wampak Redskins after a 31-29 first set mark. Uh, I don't know that I've well. gotten, I've seen a volleyball game go to the, get into the 31s. Yeah, that, that's a pretty unusual thing, but also unusual is how in, in incredibly even the stats are. Salina had 14 kills, 15 for Wapak. Brookborn had four to lead Salina and 10 for Kylie Palmer. Each team has two aces, two blocks for points, and two missed serves. The stats are incredibly even, as one might expect with a 31-29. And I think that the thing to look at now is how does Wapak come out? Uh, you know, they were in the lead for most of that set, and yeah. they were at the point where they, they could have, would have, should have pulled it out and did not. And, uh, you know, we talked about the resiliency of Salina with their veteran team. Now we'll see how Wapak plays after kind of letting a set get away from they had a chance to win. So the Bulldogs will begin set number two with Sarah Gisagi. Sending it away, a 5-3 senior. Into the side, Woodruff. Van Horn with the swing, dug out by the Bulldogs. Bertke, born, sent it into the net, and Wapak gets the first point of set number two. And Mark, I think that's a great point by you that you know, Wapak, I, I think, was at set point at 24 20. Uh, and so I had a couple of chances to close it out, but uh, you mentioned the rotations there that uh, Kylie Palmer got into the back row, and it changes things for the Redskins. There's a swing there by Ava Kanapke, blocked. Palmer comes back. Kanaki got a bit of it. Berkey takes a swing at it. Saved by Bourne. And Allison Schwederman tries to camp fire it. Woodruff, the tip. Quarter. Pretty, pretty good set for getting tangled up with your passer. Bourne and a swing. Somebody's in the net wearing a white shirt. So we're tying at one. The call went against Courtney uh, Fallenkamp for being in the net. So, 
the You know, Palmer tried to line. celebrate in the middle of that last point. You don't celebrate these points until the ball's on the floor. Yeah. These two teams are too good uh, defensively to, to start celebrating early. And there's been a couple of times yes. that I thought, there's no way yeah. they're getting that back over, and there's a big swing it, from it's, it's, it's okay to celebrate that one. Yeah. <laughs> when it goes straight, from your, yeah, and, straight and that, from your palm to the floor. That wasn't meant as a, as, as a criticism. In most points, uh, that, you know, you can celebrate right now. We got a point. And, and yet, Slina had played so well defensively, they could not. Yeah, a couple of times there in that first set that, uh, you know, the ball's in the bench, and I, you, you think there's no way. That, and it came back over as Amelia Lutz takes his swing. And it hits the floor. Oh, yeah, they gave that point to, to Wapak, said that the a green shirt was in the net. I did not see a number. I think Amelia Lutz uh, was the... Our, our up official, Scott Call, made that call. Amelia Lutz was the one closest to the area over here, so it's a 3-1 advantage for Wapak instead of being tied at 2-2. Uh, if he gave a signal of a number, who did it? I, I missed it. Born. Schwederman gets Boy. it over. And that's just like you mentioned, Mark. It, a couple of times, you think it's over, and it's not. But the ball rejected but out of play yeah. as Lutz took the swing. And Addie Fisher got a lot of it, but it goes out of bounds. The ball came at an angle because she hit it from outside the sideline and didn't get their hands turned defensively to direct it back towards the middle of the floor. Number 19, Samantha Which is, uh, Jenkins. Sir. Real easy to say when we're in the 10th <laughs> row up here. I... <laughs> Easier said than done. Woodruff, Palmer, big swing once again for the 6-2 senior. 12th kill for her today. And really, uh, there's not a whole lot you can, you can do against that, is no. there, Mark? No, I mean, first of all, if it's homecoming, you're not blocking on homecoming because you're not going to dance with bruises on your face. And so, <laughs> Sorry, Coach, get somebody else to block this week. But no, yeah, I mean, you can send two blockers and uh, you know, try to time it up, and she's just so talented. It comes again. Woodruff, Palmer. Off of Bulldog and now. Make a 5-2 Wapak on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. She's always going to try to hit out of that right corner or left corner when she can get there. She's on the right corner as we serve, then she'll move over there. Courtney full in camp. Into the middle of the floor in the back row. Bertke, Miley Sapp, saved by Schrader. Good barrel play. Palmer just rolls it over. Bertke, Lutz the tip and down. Amelia Lutz finds the hole, puts it on the floor, and we'll get a rotation here. Palmer a gets it done with, with power, and, and Lutz just finds an open area with vision and, and placement of the ball. And I'm, I'm sure power is tempting <laughs> when you, when you <laughs> yeah. can hit the ball that hard. Well, huh? she can, too, but that time she just chose to find the open area. Berkey, Palmer the swing, blocked by the Bulldogs. There you down. go. Lutz and Miley Sapp with the block. And again, Salina claws back in to cut the to lead to one. Play it out of the right corner that time. She didn't get to the left side as she typically does. and you know, Sent two blockers to her. Berkey the serve. Schrader, Woodruff, Palmer. Dug out by Berkey. Allison Schwederman, the pass. The Evie Holstad blocked by Palmer. And double, double contact. Yep. And there's the double contact. I think that's the first ball handling error we've had. I, uh, I, we didn't have a lift maybe. or a prolonged contact. Uh, we, I think Especially you're right. How talented these two teams are in this type of match. Palmer serving in the back row once again. Holstad gets it across and down. Good. Evie Holstad, who we talked about homecoming. Evie Holstad and Peyton Bertke for the Salina Bulldogs on the homecoming court. I didn't know that. I didn't either until it was released about 20 minutes into the JV match. That here was Salinas homecoming. Oh, oh and got ace. a service yep. ace for the Bulldogs. Yeah, a little miscommunication. Who was going to take the second ball? And with that, we get a, her first ace. And we're tied at six. Salina looking for their first lead here in set number two. As Van Horn will send it. Lutz, the set to Bourne, rejected. Really good set by Lutz. Tipped over by the Redskins. Schwederman, pass to Bourne, got it into the net. And the Redskins take the advantage once again. So Annie Fisher on to serve. 
Kylie Palmer remains in the back row for the Redskins. Schwederman receives. Pass to Bourne. Tries to dump it across. Woodruff tries to dump it across as well. And she finds a spot in the Salina D for a two-point advantage. She has just 16 kills on the year. That just caught everybody by surprise. Typically, she sets it. Instead, she just eased it over the net. Fisher. Received by Schwederman. Berkey has to go chase it a bit. A little wide, and that's four on the Bulldogs. You know, Garrett Slina didn't get the point there, but Berkey did something. When you're moving that way and your body's all out of balance and you still set the ball properly, that, that takes some really skill and some hands. Berkey. Same thing another, there. Right, another yes. great set. Lift, left it a little bit long, but she's, you know, up under the net to even give Brooklyn yeah. Bowen a chance at that. It's a great set. The last couple of passes have not been particularly good to her, and she's still been able to set the ball pretty well, at least doing so without illegally contacting it. Donna Morris checks in for the first time for the Bulldogs. Allison Schwederman, the pass. She'll get it to Morris. To Palmer in the back row. Woodruff, Van Horn, joust at the net. Yeah, she went across the line. You can see our R2, Paul Offenbach, who pointed his foot went entirely across the line. So the Bulldogs stopped the bleeding there for just a moment. Make it 10-7 on the Wombash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Schwederman to serve. Woodruff sets up Van Horn. Swing. We've and got a whistle. And so the line is stuck yeah, They called the it uh, on number five, Donna Morris, for being in the net that time. So he'll trade. Points on the errors. And Rena Woodruff will back, be back to serve for the Redskins. Eleven to seven. Berkey back set to Holstad. She tucks it inside the line. Second kill of this set, fourth overall for Evie Holstad. Now Sergeyski. They got a ball loose on the floor. We They've traded balls as hard as some of these balls have been hit. Yeah. You're chasing them, chasing them all over the gym. Trying to keep them clean and keep the perspiration off of them as well. That's a part of the idea. And they're playing hard out here tonight in Wapak. As Woodruff goes to set Van Horn, the tip saved by the uh, Bulldogs, but a yeah, prolonged, prolonged con yeah. contact. That that might be the textbook definition <laughs> of a lift. <laughs> that that was, yeah. Tried to make a play on it. The ball wasn't high enough for her to make a play on. Van Horn serving. Schwederman. Burke Kanapke. Nearly through the hands of Woodruff. Redskins have to just roll it over. Burke able to save it. Into the back row. And a kill goes to Lily Sunderhouse of Salina. Well, if the stat page that was posted online is correct, Lily Sunderhouse now has two kills on the season. <laughs> I think that's why she was celebrating so much besides just the point that her team scored. You probably don't expect to, to get a whole lot of kills just from your defensive specialist that's, yeah, that's spot. Right. But the score is 12-9 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. It's Brooklyn Bourne. Hello. A big swing from Ava Kanapke right in the middle of the floor. Sends it to the floor to cut the lead to two. The overpass got across the net and she just put it away. So 12 to 10 now as Brooklyn Bourne back to serve once again for the Bulldogs. After winning set number one, 31-29, we've got another dandy here in set number two. Woodruff to Palmer, down. Well, one thing we answered for sure, Garrett, is we're you know, 23 points into this one. Wapak came back. They, they, yeah. they weren't demoralized by losing that opening set, and they're back trying to win set two and playing pretty well. Schrader serving for Wapak. Bertke over to Amelia Lutz. Rolls off the hands of a redskin. The sidewinder hits the floor, and the lead back down to two once again. Samantha Jenkins on to serve for the Bulldogs. Trailing by two. Into the back row, Woodruff. The set to Palmer just has to flip it over. Bertke, cross-court pass to Lutz. Blocked and out of play as Courtney Fullen got a lot of it. 
but it's left just a little wide of the line, and a lead now down to one. Jenkins, the high short serve. Woodruff, Palmer, blocked by the Bulldogs. Woodruff, back set to quarter, excuse me, to Fullenkamp. We get a prolonged contact. Two, double hit, double, double hit. hit. Yeah, that was the call. So the lead back out to two for the Redskins, 14 to 12. The first ball across the net, you can double contact. Second and third, the ball must contact your hands at the same time and leave at the same time. Courtney Fallenkamp to serve for the Redskins. Burt King, pass to Lutz, spins. Woodruff, Palmer, and Kylie Palmer's got another kill here in set number two. That's 15, five in this set, 10 in the opening set. And the Redskins lead 15 to 12. Here in the second set, Fullenkamp serves once again. Dung out by the Bulldogs. Burke swung on by Miley Sapp, and she gets a kill. She has three in the match today. That's her first in this set. Six-foot sophomore with her first second set kill. That's Peyton Burke. <laughs> Learned their lesson, didn't they? We're not just going to run on the floor. We're going <laughs> to wait for him to beckon us in like we're supposed to. Burke. Gets it across the net. Palmer dug out by Berkey. Sap the set. Lutz, the standing swing, dug out by Palmer. Woodruff, long hit there by Addie Fisher. And a lead down to one for the Redskins. Peyton Berkey serves once again. Allison Schwederman asking for some directions from her coach. I'm curious what that's about. Palmer the swing, blocked by Lutz and Sap. Schrader to Palmer once again, and it's wide. Well, she tried to go to the middle of the floor. They blocked her, so she tried to go down the line, and she missed. And we are tied at 15 here in set number two. Berkey. Woodruff gets it to Van Horn. She'll just have to send it from the back row. Berkey, the back set to Holstead. Off of Palmer and down, and Salinas got the lead. Bulldogs and Redskins undefeated in WBL play. Both at 7-0. In this big WBL matchup, Palmer tips it in the middle of the floor and down. Usually goes with power, yeah. found a finesse shot there, and ties it at 16. Since we're headed to the baseball playoffs, you're looking for the fastball and you get the changeup. And that's an extreme changeup. <laughs> As Berkey, back set. And the Bulldogs get the kill as Amelia Lutz tallies another one. Amelia Lutz has had a really nice second set. That's her fourth kill in this set alone. Now she gets to serve. 17-16, the Bulldogs with the advantage on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. As Lutz sends it away and sent a little too much mustard on it. First miss served by either team here in this set. All tied at 17, and number 17, Addie Fisher serving for the Redskins. Into the middle of the back row. Berkey, back set to Sapp, blocked. Bourne, the joust at the net. She'll tip it over once again and down. Great vision there from Brooklyn Bourne as Salino with the one-point advantage. Most experienced uh, player who's a first-team all-conference player a year ago. Just saw the open area and put it there. Allison Schwederman the serve, dung out by Palmer. Woodruff, back sent to Van Horn, dung out by Berkey. Kanapke finds a spot in the middle of the floor for the two-point advantage. A timeout called by Wapak will step aside as well. Salina leads 19-17 here at set number two on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard made possible by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics is the Salina Bulldogs. Have a two-point advantage here in set number two at 1917. But if set number two is anything like set number one, we're, we're just barely halfway there, Mark. Well, one of the interesting things is Salina has five different players with a kill in this set. 
Kylie Palmer has six, but only Weed Woodruff has the only other kill. So they're not as balanced as Salina has been. Palmer swings it over. Back set to Holstad, dug out by the Redskins. Van Horn to swing off of Schwederman and down. Well, there we got somebody else involved. But Emily Van Horn gets the point for the Redskins out of the timeout. Coaches always like to get the ball back and get a score coming out of a timeout. Raina Woodruff serving. 5-7 senior setter. Into the back row. Sunderhaus the dig. Berkey quick set to Kanapke. Dug out. Jousted the net. One by Kanapke. And we're tied at 19. Seven total kills for her. Four first set. Three in this one. Sarah Giesegui with a two-point lead, serving for the Bulldogs. Tucked it just inside the line. That's a tough spot to be if you're a Redskin. You think yeah. it's going long, and it just bounces in front of that line. And the lead out to three now for Salina. Seemed like it didn't have any spit on it. The ball just died. Good Sarah, point for an ace. Sarah Giesegui, another serve, dug out by Schrader. Woodruff to Van Horn, saved by Schwederman, tipped over by the Bulldogs, and they find a spot on the floor as Peyton Bertke just tips it over with the left hand, and the lead out to four, and another timeout called by the Redskins. We'll keep it here, 22-18, Salina with the four-point advantage, and Mark, we saw this, the closing yeah. stage of set number one, where Wapak had the four-point advantage, and Salina battled all the way back. Now, uh, I think we can probably expect Wapak to do the same, but back-to-back uh, -back timeouts here by the Redskins where we talked about, you know, you want to, you want to score get, and get back to serving after the timeout. And now Salinas has gotten a, a couple of points here to extend this lead. In this set, the close plays have all been, uh, seems like they've all been won by Salina. That last play, yeah. Schwederman made a great play, and then, you know, Berkey was able to hit it across the net for the point, but it was just a really nice play by the libero to get it set up, and it seems like in this set it's gone that way, particularly in the last Last half of it. So 22-18 the lead for Salina here in set number two as they await to break the huddle. Wapak took about 30 seconds of that 60 second timeout. Yeah, just trying to break momentum and get back on the floor. That was the idea. Give a quick set of instructions and break the service momentum. So Sarah Gisagi. Serving once again for the Bulldogs. Woodruff goes to set up Follenkamp. Yeah, pro you know, pro long contact, contact yeah. there by the Bulldogs. Well, you could have called that either way, but yes. Schwederman made a good play. The ball might have been going long, but you don't want the ball to hit and, and it falls in on you. So she just played it. It's kind of like it, speaking of baseball earlier, the, you know, do you backhand this? Do you uh, roll your glove over? It's kind of in no man's lane if Schwederman will roll it over. Woodruff goes to set up Palmer, swings, dug out by Schwederman. Kanapke tips it over, and it's out. Really heads up play by uh, Rena Woodruff because she thought she was going to have to play it. Then she realized at the last minute she didn't and let it get out of bounds. So the lead shrinks to two as Emily Van Horn goes to serve for the Redskins. Bertke, the set. Kanapke, the big swinging down. That's a big play for yes, the Bulldogs Lord. to extend the lead back out to three. As Brooklyn Bourne will go back to serve for the Bulldogs. Looking to close out set number two. Three-point advantage on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. She tucks it inside the line and oh. down. Wow. Two of those now, one deep and then one on the sideline that just kind of hugged it and fell. So set point for the Bulldogs at 24-20. Bourne will send it away. Line drive serve. Palmer, the big swing. She gets it off of Bourne and down to keep the set alive for the Redskins. Well, here we are at that point 24 how difficult sometimes it is to get number 25. Carly Schrader serving for the Redskins. Tip down. Burke dug out by Schrader. Palmer to Missed swing it. long. 
And Salina takes set number two, 25-21. Break in the action, we'll step aside as well. Third set action coming up on WLSN. Tonight's scoreboard is made possible by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Is set number three about to get underway here. Salina takes games one and two. Both squads undefeated in the Western Buckeye League, both with 16 and four identical records. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Shine. It's set number three about to get underway. 27 kills for Salina, 24 kills for Wapak, 17 of them by Kylie Palmer, eight for Ava Kanapke for Salina. The difference in that set, three aces by Salina. Swing by Evie Holstad a little long, and Wapak begins set number three with a 1 0 lead. That's Emily Van Horn serving for the Redskins. Berkey back set to Ava Kanapke, dug out by Allison Sweeterman, trying to dig it out again. But the ball from Kylie Palmer, another kill for her to make it 2-0. Coach Bangy thought that perhaps she had reached across the net to make the play on the ball, and the R1 disagreed. All it has to do is be in the plane of the net, any part of the ball. Van Horn. Berkey, the quick set to Ava Kanapke, and out. And the point goes to Salon, or excuse me, it goes to Wapak, and they've started set number three with a 3-0 lead. Kind of mishit that one. A little bit uncharacteristic. Another serve from Emily Van Horn into the back row. Lily Sunderhouse to dig. Birdkey tipped by Brooklyn Bourne. Schrader, cross-court pass to Palmer, dug out by the Bulldogs. Woodruff, pass to Palmer once again. And a double contact. So the point goes to Salina, their first of set number three. As Sarah Gisagi will serve. Dug out by Schrader. Woodruff cross court pass to Palmer. Blocked. Swing at it. Did Peyton Bertke. She's blocked. And a point goes to Wapak. Kelly Palmer's got two blocks for points here in this set. Which is four points into it. Carly Schrader, the 5 5 senior, Libero serving. Bertke, quick set to Kanapke. Didn't get all of it, <laughs> but she got enough of it. Yeah. And that's the first kill of the third set for it's the Bulldogs. Mistimed it and mishit it, but it got a point out of it because it caught everybody by surprise. Brooklyn Boyne serving now for the Bulldogs, trailing by two here in set number three. And a match of undefeated Western Buckeye League foes. Schrader the dig, Woodruff cross-court pass, tipped by Palmer, easiest kill she's got all night. Make it 5-2 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone. It's like slow motion, Gary. You could see her eyes going right to that open spot on the floor, and she knew right where she wanted to put it. That was a great decision by her. Three-point lead, Berkey. Quick set, swung over by Kanapke. Woodruff, cross-court pass to Palmer. Blocked by the Bulldogs. Dug out, though, by the Redskins. Palmer takes another swing at it. Burke key, set to Kanapke. She tips it over. Dug out by the Redskins. Good Saved play. by the Bulldogs. Amelia Lutz, the long swing into the back row. Tipped. Dug out by the Bulldogs. Ball stays alive. Lutz just punches it out of the air. Tough angle. Woodruff, Palmer. And the kill for Kylie Palmer. Might be our longest point of the night. Absolutely. Each team made a few good plays on the ball. Four-point lead for the Redskins at 6-2. It's Courtney Fullenkamp serves. 90% service percentage. Berkey, long set to Lutz. Dug out by the Redskins. Woodruff to Palmer. Blocked. Saved by Palmer. Good play by the libero Schrader to not double contact it. Berkey. Set to Lutz, she finds a spot on the floor. Both teams using vision rather than power to just put the ball where you want it, where there's not a defender. Samantha Jenkins will serve for the Bulldogs. She subs in for Ava Kanapke. 
Jenkins sent it long. Well, Schrader looked at that for a long time, didn't she? <laughs> they had two of them that fell in, Just one on the sideline, one deep, and staring at it. Yes. <laughs> Comes so their way. Kind of willing the ball to go long. Right, you feel like, okay, that's long immediately, and then the longer it comes at you. As Alshon Sweeterman tries to save that one, point goes to Wapak, and they've got a five point lead here at set number three. You yeah. just watch that serve come at you, and yeah. you know, I think your will is the right way to, to put it. You're willing that ball to go long. It's a serve from Kylie Palmer. Swing from Miley Sapp finds the floor. Redskins doubling up Salina here in set number three, eight to four. But Peyton Burke serving for the Bulldogs. She's put a good stop gap for the Bulldogs in that serving spot. Woodruff, back set, rejected. Tipped back over by Addie Fisher. Burke back set to Holstad, left it long. And a lead back out to five for the Redskins. So Fisher serving, dung out by Bourne. Bertke quick set to Sapp, dung out by Palmer. Cross court pass to Emily Van Horn, takes a swing. Bertke, hmm. as Woodruff passes to Palmer, sent right back over by the Bulldogs on the dig. Woodruff, cross court pass to Van Horn. She touched and it. And it's out. Yes, the line judge says she touched it. Said it's the tip. Coach so, Bangy was right there. He didn't argue it, so I think that was the right call. Yep. Six point lead, largest of the evening for the Redskins at 10 4. Bird key to Lutz. She'll take a big swing at it. Goes out of play off a of Redskin, and the point goes to Salina. Coach Haslett wasn't quite sure that that was touched. In fact, she thought perhaps it was hit off the tape and out of bounds, but call stands. Woodruff, the back set to Van Horn. Long. Didn't get on top of it. We got to build a, a shield or something. For well, Lexi's already <laughs> injured down there. She has a jam <laughs> finger jam from finger playing the ball Lexi. early, and she's kind of in the firing line back there. Runs down cam today. And, and really, Got another one. inside the line. Yep. Amelia Lutz, the ace. And it's sort of like, uh, you know, an, an umpire's having a rough day in baseball. Those baseballs just find him. Yeah. Lexi's yeah. been uh, peppered all night down there. She's hanging tough. This is a big match. She's fighting through it. Lutz's the second ace tonight. They've both been the same, just dying on the back line. Woodruff rolls it over. Schwederman a dig. Birdkey. The tip by Holstad, dug out by Carly Schrader. Cross-court pass to Van Horn. She finds a spot on the floor. Emily Van Horn to kill. Lead back out to four at 11-7. Emily has six kills on the evening. Three in the opening set, one in set two, and now two in this set already. Rena Woodruff going to serve for the Redskins. And one more rotation before Palmer gets back in the front row. Born, Berkey, excuse me, tries to dunk it over she gets the net yeah when you have a two games oh lead you can kind of smile at yourself because usually you're going to put that one across the net she just left it short smiled at herself and realized what she'd done woodruff the serve burt king the set to Bourne, tipped dug out by woodruff schrader to palmer behind the 10-foot line returned by the bulldogs on one schrader to van horn she'll swing dug out by schwederman Birdkey over to Bourne. Bourne takes a swing at it. Woodruff, Van Horn once again. Tip, tip. Nope, long. I was looking to see if anybody had contact with it. Uh, the ball seemed like it changed direction, but none of the people had a call, so I obviously an error up here. <laughs> 12 to 8 the score. Salish and Schwederman serves. Courtney Fullenkamp rolls it over and gets the kill for the Redskins. Courtney's first kill of the evening. Hasn't had many set opportunities. That time she put one away. 51 kills before tonight. Extends that lead back out by five, 13 to eight on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Well, Garrett Wapak's been here before. 
at yeah. this point. And let's see if, if Salina rallies again as they have in the opening two sets. Served by Van Horn. Joust at the net. Now what? I'm not sure what this call is going to be. And say the uh, point goes to Salina. We're going to say that uh, Wapak hit it out of bounds on the joust at the net. Here's our conversation as we discussed. You send your captain over to ask the official what happened. You can see his motion. But, uh, white, white jersey player pushed it out of bounds. I th think that's the right call. I'm not 100% yeah. certain, but it, it looked well, to me as if the ball goes out of play after Wapak had touched it last. And I, I think Salina tried to go up and get it, but couldn't. But Sarah Gieske now serving. And she leaves it a little long. So if you're a Wampok fan, I don't know if you believe in karma or yeah. if the volleyball doesn't lie or whatever the yeah. kids believe these days, but the lead back out to five. Schwederman to Berkey, tough set. Horn gets it over. Woodruff goes to set up Kylie Palmer. Well, well she's back in the front row and able to work that particular play. And she's timeout. up high and down hard and a timeout called by Salina coach Phil Bangy. We'll step aside as well. Renskins lead by six on WOSN. Redskins with a 15-9 advantage here in set number three, trailing two games to none in a undefeated Western Buckeye League showdown against the Salina Bulldogs as Carly Schrader serves. Berkey has to go get it for the set. Brooklyn born the swing, and she gets the kill. It's what you do, you try to get the ball into the hands of your best hitter, come out of a timeout, and Brooklyn responded. Lily Summerhouse will sub out for the Bulldogs as Bourne now back to serve. Trailing my five into that back row, and she gets the ace. Yes, she does. Second ace for night for her. The 5'8 senior. First team Western Buckeye League performer a year ago. Probably looking at those same honors here in yeah. 2022. Carly Schrader, Rena Woodruff, Palmer, miscommunication there, gets it over. Berkey, the quick set to Ava Kanapke. Saved by the Redskins. Can they roll it over? They can. Kanapke to swing, dug out once again, joust at the net and down. What a rally there from both yeah, squads. Yeah, it really was. Wapak made a couple of big saves, but the ball hung at the plane of the net, and that allowed Kanapke to put it away. I think they were going to get Palmer for being in the net no matter what. Born the serve, set to Palmer. She's up high and down hard from the middle. And the lead back out to four. It's a different team when she's in the front row. Yeah. The other girls are competent, but when she's a, what did Al McGuire used to call him, your aircraft carrier? <laughs> when he was doing basketball back in the 80s and 90s. Lutz the swing. Woodruff. Van Horn attacks, and oh, yeah. she gets it into the net. You know, she was a little bit unsure of how she wanted to play that, and then when she hit it, it was in the net. Took that stutter step almost of... Yep. Uh, Trying to decide, do I just free ball it over, or do I go for the kill attempt, and she maybe perhaps, uh, you know, delayed a little bit long to make the play. Samantha Jenkins serves for the Bulldogs as they trail by three. Woodruff to Van Horn, tipped, rejected. Woodruff to Palmer, she cuts it down the line. But it's a little wide, and the point goes to the Bulldogs. She hadn't gone down the line for a while, so she tried to go that way and, and missed it. The timeout has been good for Coach Bangy. Another serve from Jenkins into the middle of the floor, dug out by Schrader. Woodruff, Palmer, she found the floor that time for the point. 22 kills tonight, 10 in the opening set, 7 and now 5 in this set. 17-14, Wampak with the advantage and has led the entire third set. She swept an ace earlier in this set. Berkey tipped over by Miley Sapp, dug out by the Redskins. Van Horn to swing, Schwederman saves it. It's in the seats, and the point goes to Wapak. Good to see Emily Van Horn stepping up. She knows that Connie Palmer's in the back row, and she stepped up with three kills in this set. Palmer serving once again. Into that back row. Burt Key tipped, blocked. 
Swung at by Bertke, dug out by the bull, by the Redskins. Van Horn blocked at the net. Ball stays alive. Lutz gets it over, and she finds a spot in the back row. She is allowed to block if the ball's above the height of the net and then play it a second time, and that's what the official allowed. So the lead down to three at 18-15 as Peyton Burke on to serve for the Bulldogs. Woodruff, cross-court pass to Van Horn. Dung out by Bourne. Burke, back set to Evie Holstad and down. First kill in this set for Evie, sixth overall. And the lead now down to two. Salina Claus back once again. Bertke into the back row. Good serve. Schrader, Palmer, Van Horn will tip. Lutz from the 10-foot line, dug out by Schrader. Balls at the net, saved by the Redskins. Palmer just sets it over to yeah. keep it alive. She was in front of the 10-foot line, so she couldn't go up and kill it. Nice play, though, right there. Up. Four Palmer hits. Dug out, that's yep. four. And the Bulldogs have, the sh have shrunk the lead to one. Palmer made a couple of good plays. That yep. ball just went a little long for timeout. Redskins called timeout. We'll step aside as well with the break in the action. 18-17, more third set action when we return on WOSN. Eighteen seventeen, the score in set number three. Salina has trailed the entire set, trying to climb all the way back out of the hole and close things out here in game number three. They won set number one, 31-29, and set number two, 25-21. As the Redskins, Emily Van Horn will send it away. Burt Keat, quick set to Sap. She's got the kill, and we're tied at 18. Momentum's wearing a green shirt right now, Garrett. Undoubtedly. And it seems like every time Peyton Berkey has gotten back there to serve, that's been the story for the Bulldogs as they start to rally. Woodruff, Palmer behind the 10-foot line. She hits him into the net. And Salina has their first lead in set number three. In volleyball, when Uncle Moe's on your team, you got to score as many points as you can. That's what Salina's doing right now. Berkey, the left-handed serve. Woodruff to Van Horn. She'll tip across. Berkey back set to Holstad. Block. Play Van Horn. She'll get it to Miley Sapp, and she gets the big swing and kill. Three kills in this set, Miley Sapp. Another timeout called by the Redskins. We'll keep it here. And Mark, you mentioned all the momentum resides at the Salina Bulldogs. You know, they were trailing 15-9. Coach called timeout, and they have been on a roll since that particular time. They have scored 11 to 3. Then they made all the plays that time. That time, you know, Van Horn made a really nice play on the first ball to get it across, but then she couldn't get a block on the second one. Sapp played well. This is just a very well-rounded Salina team, and you know they've got a lot of different weapons they're showing them right now. Well, and, and you mentioned they've got a couple of girls with kills here. Yes. Um, with, with multiple kills where you don't have to just say, okay, we're gonna take away. Amelia Lutz, or we're going to take away Miley Sapp. Yes. They can come back with Evie Holstead or Brooklyn Bourne. They've got a couple of, uh, of, of girls who can attack the volleyball, and, and it shows. Well, they've had five different girls with kills tonight. Uh, well, six if you count Lily Sunderhouse when she played yeah. back from the back row. And, well, the timeout momentarily broke the momentum. Let's see what happens when they serve now. Left it just a hair long, and Addie Fisher now serving for the Redskins. Trailing 2019 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Fisher. Berkey with the dig. Holstad tips it across. Woodruff, cross court pass to Van Horn. She'll cut it down the line and down. Can't say enough about Emily Van Horn. She is really trying to rally her team here in this set. Fourth kill of this set. And, and frankly, she knows that if Kylie Palmer's in the back row, that that pass is coming to her darn near every time. Berkey, set to Sapp. Tried to quick set it. Bourne bounces it high in the air. And Lutz rolls it into the net, giving the point to Wapaw. Salina still has a timeout, and here it comes. We'll step aside as well in the break in the action. Wapaw reclaims the lead, 21-20. More third set action when we return on WOSN. Tonight, 
Tonight's scoreboard is made possible by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Womp off with a 21-20 advantage here against the Salina Bulldogs. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Schein, bringing you this WBL volleyball matchup between a pair of undefeated foes. Brooklyn born, Berkey to set, up high and down hard for Miley Sapp, and she gets the kill to tie to 21. Fourth kill of this set. Got just what they wanted coming out of the timeout. And now it's a four-point game. Well, maybe not. We went, what did we go? 31, 31 29. 29. Maybe not. Good timeout, though, by Coach Bangy. Break the Mo. Woodruff. The set. Van Horn to swing. Oh, she set. got the kill. Yes. Amelia Lutz trying to stick her foot out to keep the ball alive. Tripped on it. Looks like she's okay. Emily, She'll check out for Lily Sunderhouse. Emily Van Horn, 5'8", junior, got up and put that one away. Her fifth kill. 22-21. Redskins with the lead. Woodruff, the serve. Burke cross-court pass to Bourne. She left it long, and the lead's out to two for the Redskins. Each team has burned all their timeouts, so we're going to play this one out. 23-21. Wapak in set number one had a 24-20 lead before falling 31-29. Woodruff dug out by Schwederman. Berkey back set to Holstead. Blocked. Saved by the Bulldogs. Miss hit. Bourne gets it over, but it's wide of the candy cane. And the mat set point goes to Wapak. Here's Wapak 24-21 to send it to set four. Got their crowd involved. Say the Redskin faithful rise yep. to their feet as Rena Woodruff serves. Schwederman, Bertke, Sap, down. But the set that Miley Sap has had. Fifth kill for her. Eight in the match for her. The six-foot sophomore subs out as Ava Kanapke comes back in. And the Bulldogs get the volleyball back to serve. Trailing by two, 24-22. Schwederman, Schrader, Woodruff, Van Horn dug out by Bourne. Quick set to Ava Kanapke, dug out by Kylie Palmer. And the Redskins will send it over. That's yeah, double contact. Double it. contact yeah. gives Salina the point to cut the lead to one. You know, Garrett, a couple, three years ago, that would have been legal. And the officials went, you know what? We're letting people score points when they push it across the net illegally and kind of tightened up on that. Schwederman serves again. Woodruff back set to Van Horn. Blocked. And we're tied at 24. Here they come again. The resiliency that they show. Winner of set number three is going to be in extras as we're tied at 24. You got to win by two. It's Allison Schwederman. A libero for Salina. Serves again into the back row. Woodruff to Palmer. She gets the kill. And it's set point for Wapak. Set point. And it also brings Kylie Palmer to the front row. Emily Van Horn she got will that, serve. Got that kill from behind the 10-foot line. Van Horn left it long, and we're tied at 25. Not many service no. errors marked tonight. That that's is a, correct. That's a costly one. Yep. That's just the third of the evening for the Wapak Canada Redskins. So Sarah Gisagi on to serve for the Bulldogs. Woodruff tipped, and it's over for the Redskins. Quick set to Ava Kanapke. She gets the kill, and now it's set point and match point for the Bulldogs. Now it's their crowd that's alive. <laughs> Gieske, the serve. Woodruff, cross-court pass to Palmer, blocked. And Salina stays undefeated in the Western Buckeye League with a 27-25 third set victory to take the match 31-29, 25-21, and 27-25 in this fantastic Western Buckeye League matchup, Mark. I'm just trying to get a couple of stat numbers together here. Boy, what a set that time, though, for... Miley Sapp, she had, ends up with eight kills. She had five of them in that deciding set. And congratulations to Salina, who once again came back 
in set number three, this time just like they did in the first two. So we'll step aside, come back, have a conversation with the Salina Bulldog. They remain undefeated in the Western Buckeye League and move to 17-4 and and 8-0 in the WBL with a three-set victory over Wapak. And we'll chat with the Bulldogs when we return here on WOSN. Back in Wapak as Salina celebrates a three-set victory to secure a uh, share of the Western Buckeye League. And I'm joined now with Peyton Berkey, the, the setter for the Bulldogs. And you guys got down a couple different times, but you clawed back each time. How does it feel to grab a, another share of the WBL crown? It's so fun. It's so fun playing with these guys. One thing about our team is we never stop fighting and we never stop playing together. And I think that's what makes us so successful. We've all been friends since we were like in like kindergarten. We've all been playing together since fourth grade. And that's just what makes our bond so strong. A couple of different times there you guys had to battle back. What, what was said during the timeouts that, that made you guys rally back and, and come out with a three-set victory? Um, I think what helped us was our mindset. We said to ourselves, believe and achieve, and that's what we did, I think. That's, that's true. Congratulations <laughs> on the win, and uh, congratulations on the Western Buckeye League crown. Thanks. That's Peyton Berkey, the Salina setter, joining us here as the Bulldogs win three sets, 31-29, 25-21, and 27-25. So two of those sets go go extras, Mark. we got a great volleyball game here tonight. Yeah, you're going to look at it. Go out, it was 3-0. Yeah, but it was three very good sets of volleyball. Wapak had a lead in each one, and Salina rallied in each one and came back, and I just said two of them went overtime. And, and we just talked to Peyton Berkey. She had a couple of different girls she could set to, to to really set them up. And I think that's maybe the difference in the match. Well, I would agree with that because you know, they had 37 kills, but they had six different girls who had a kill tonight. Um, Wapak had 33 kills, but 23 of them came from Kylie Palmer, who was just a warrior this evening. But they only had one other girl, had a very significant number. So the balance was certainly there for Salina. And they've got one more match with Salina, but they're going to be at least co-champions and probably win it outright. So the Salina Bulldogs move to 17-4. and four. They clinch a share of the Western Buckeye League crown as they move to 8-0 tonight with a three-set victory over Wapak. Again, the score is 31-29, 25-21, and 27-25. For Kylan Shadwall, and Lexi Waddle. I'm Garrett Seawright from Mark Shine saying so long from Wapak here on WOSN.